just grateful. Honestly, number one thing is grateful just to walk away healthy. Um, it has indeed been an amazing year for her. In fact, amazing may not just be enough descriptor for how great 2024 shaped up for her. But okay, let's settle with amazing. And because Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone is more than amazing, she closed the season just as remarkably. Walking away from this season with everything that we accomplished, I couldn't be happy. After breaking her own record in the 400 meter hurdles for the fifth consecutive time, and anchoring Team USA to a win in the women's 4x400 relay at the 2024 Paris Olympics. She still wasn't content to end the season on that note. Instead, she aimed to improve her personal bests in the 200m and 400m events. Her attempt to do this, though, had been plagued with controversies. Initially, the Olympic 400m hurdles, champion and world record holder, received an invitation to compete at the season-ending Diamond League final, the Memorial Van Dam in Brussels. Organizers have extended wildcard invitations to Sydney to compete, despite not having run in a Diamond League meet this year. Sydney was invited to compete in a flat double, 200 meter and 400 meter. This particular news had not been well received by many who accused the organizers of bending the rules for Sydney. As most of you probably know already, the Diamond League final is supposed to be the end-of-season championship for the athletes who accumulated the most points during the regular season. Sydney, however, had not competed in a regular season Diamond League meet. It didn't take long before the invitation was retracted. Diamond League Athletics CEO Peter Stastny himself announced that Sydney is ineligible to compete in the Diamond League final events. It is not about allowing a specific athlete to compete or not. He said by way of explanation. It is about rules and criteria which must be fulfilled by all to becoming eligible to compete at the WDL final. Ms. McLaughlin Lavrone does not fulfill those criteria, either by accumulating enough points or receiving a wild card. To pacify fans, they found a workaround. Sydney was still allowed to participate in the meet but would have to run in events not classified as a Diamond League event. In an Instagram post, Allianz Memorial Van Dam confirmed that Sydney will be competing at the event, but not as part of the Wanda Diamond League final races. The post read, To honor Sydney's remarkable achievements, including her unforgettable 400-meter hurdles world record in Paris, we've added two special races. We always knew that we were going to make it work, uh, that Sydney would always uh, be invited here to run. And so with that, she had been confirmed to compete in both the 200m and 400m exhibition races, with her sights firmly set on smashing personal bests. It was reiterated, though, that the two races are not part of the Diamond League program and were specially added to honor Sydney's remarkable achievements. Not to be deterred, the four-time Olympic champion is focused on making her mark across the 200 meter and 400 meter flat distances. Direction we're going towards, but you never know how it's exactly going to play out. I couldn't have written it better myself, and so. At least she took it in stride. It's exciting for the future because I know there's always more, and so I think that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. But just enjoying right now. Some say that the 400 meter would be Sydney's biggest test as she faces fierce competition from Olympic medalists Stacey Ann Williams and Stephanie Ann McPherson. And while the 200-meter exhibition promised an equally tough field, with Tasa Gia, Gina Bass, and Boglarka Takach all in the mix, bets are still placed on Sydney. For herself, she is chasing her season best of 22.07 seconds set at the USATF Los Angeles Grand Prix. My goal is to improve my personal records, Sydney admitted. For context, her personal bests in the 200 meter and 400 meter are 22.07 and 48.74 seconds, respectively. With breaking these records in mind, Sydney showed up in Brussels in great condition. It can be noted that she had not competed after Paris. Although she didn't need to, Sydney spoke about how she took some time off after the last Olympics to recharge. I went to Greece with my husband to relax for a week. It was necessary after those fantastic Olympics, which I had worked so hard for. She added, I feel enormously grateful for what I was able to experience in Paris. After that, we returned to Los Angeles. 
But because I still feel physically and mentally fresh, I wanted to run one more meeting to finish the season. She went and she ate. In chilly conditions, McLaughlin Lavrone clocked 49.11 to record a comfortable victory with Jamaica's Stacey Ann Williams, second in 50.53, while Andrea Miklos of Romania was third in 51.16. It gets better. Sydney's time was faster than the Olympic gold medalist in the event, clocked minutes later. 10 minutes after McLaughlin Lavrone won her race in 49.11 seconds in mid 50 degree weather in Brussels. Olympic 400 meter champion Marilide Paulino of the Dominican Republic ran 49.45 to win the Diamond League final 400 meter. This wasn't the only thing that caught the spectators' attention. You all know that people not only pay attention to how any athlete performs in a race, some think they have the right to question what sprinters wear on the track as well. And so, when Sydney was spotted wearing full pants while running in the 400 meter flat in Brussels, more than a couple of brows rose in question. In the official post-race interview, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone talked about feeling a cramp after a long break. So to prevent injuries, she safeguarded herself with full pants. Running the 400 meter at the end of the season definitely hurts a little bit more, and I felt the cramping, she explained. That's why I chose to run with long pants, just to be safe. But I felt strong during the race. Now we're gonna go home, rest a bit, and decide tomorrow whether to run the 200 meter or not. Apparently, she felt she was well enough to compete in the 200 meter. On a clear night at the Memorial Van Dam, Sydney once again dominated the track. Although she failed to eclipse her personal best of 22.07 comma, she did manage to win in 22.40 and gain invaluable experience for the next season. I am always striving for more, but at the end of the day, I'm walking away happy and healthy, she said. With this season we did, I really can't complain. Plus, you have to leave something for the future. Her appearances in the Belgian capital did raise a few more questions. Will we see more of McLaughlin Lavrone on the flat after she has achieved everything over hurdles? I'm sure we will, she admitted. These races keep me on my toes and help me with the hurdles. I love challenging myself and seeing what's possible. When asked about how she felt running the flat 400 meter, she admitted, I'm still learning it. It's very different from the hurdles. Every race is just trying to figure it out and get better. I'll have to go back and watch my race to figure out what I did, right and wrong. In a lengthy Instagram post, Sydney shared her journey towards this year's successes. She shared that after sitting most of last year's races, the mental build back to the world stage felt like a mountain of a climb. Yet as I reflect on the year, I'm so thankful for the ways in which God challenged every part of me to rely solely upon Him in some of the most grueling moments," she wrote. She added that while some may look and wonder what challenges there could be just playing a sport, they do exist. Just like any profession, it takes dedication, preparation, perseverance, and belief, Sydney further said. In it all, I will continue to do what I've always done, which is the endeavor to improve. I have and will continue to strive to be a positive role model for young women and an agent of growth for our sport. Now that the 2024 season has officially come to a close, Sydney is looking forward to resting and spending quality time with those she loves. That's a wrap, 2024. Until next time, Sydney concluded her post. Watch this to see how other athletes chose to end the season.